Oh my god, wait. I just realized there's a sunroof. Star, woo! Spilling gasoline everywhere. So I'm with my sister right now and we're on our way to get my new car. Woo! First, I have to get all my junk out of my car though. I keep a lot of reusable tote bags there and also an emergency bag filled with clothes because you never know when you're going to need like a dress or extra pajamas to go somewhere. So since we're going to be handling a new car and of course there's like the COVID-19 happening, we're going to bring some gloves, face masks, and Clorox wipes to clean it down before I take the car home hey, with me. Why is she talking? Honestly, I don't have any high expectations though because it is like, it's not going to be like top of the line, I'm pretty sure, nothing new or anything, but it's still exciting. I think it's still an exciting process. Saying goodbye to my old car for now. It's done me well. No, 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 no. no yeah, it's that's my how Corona, it's to be. not my Corona. Oh, I was singing a song <laughs> earlier. I was singing my Corona. <laughs> So I'm gonna go inside. My sister has to stay outside. She's scared. So right now we're looking through the parking lot. I'm getting to choose the kind of car that I want to get. And like I said, it's not like I'm gonna get a Dodge Charger or a Jeep, like my dream cars, but it's uh, it's something. So they have some SUVs and some like compact cars that I could choose from, but in the end I chose this. Um, honestly, I don't know what brand this is, you guys. This is Lincoln. Okay, first things first, you gotta desanitize the car. I don't know who touched this beforehand. But, oh, good thing we have all this stuff. Honestly, leather seats, what a power move. And this is too advanced for me. This is a push button car only. I don't know how to do this. I mean, it should be just be like driving a car, right? All right, so what's the first step? You need to hold the keys first? You need to press the button? You pray. <laughs> um, put your foot on the gas, I mean, <laughs> brakes, and then press the engine. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So we are going to go shopping at Lucky's right now. We need a bunch of groceries and we do have our gloves and masks, but I'm looking outside and no one else is wearing gloves and masks. So put them on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna wear gloves. Maybe I'm gonna take this. That guy's wearing a mask. Okay. I don't know, man. Eleven ninety nine for that. Let's try to find something cheaper. what we need here a little frustrated because i put gas in this car for the very first time and i didn't know how to do it so i had to google how to do it in this buick and then uh long story short I ended up spilling gasoline everywhere looking at something on my car it looked like i was almost empty right here but because of my height i didn't see that this is actually where the gas tank thing is so down. So it's the next day and I'm on my way to work. I just got a phone call from the auto repair shop saying that my car is going to be fixed by tomorrow afternoon. So thank God because I actually do not like driving this car. The acceleration and the brakes I feel are way too sensitive and you know, after you drive your own car for three years, you get super used to it. So I can't wait to have my old car back. Oh my God, wait. I just realized there's a sunroof! Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this sunroof for the rest of the day then because I've always wanted a sunroof. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a turkey heading for my car right now. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's crossing the road. Extra points though for the easy Bluetooth pair. Welcome to my car tour! So this is a 2019 Buick Encore with a dark gray exterior and black leather interior which honestly I don't really care for because it's a freaking hot box in here and not the good kind. 
just kidding but okay first of all this wheel it's kind of like a pleathery texture and it makes my hands sweat so much it's also 69 degrees <laughs> it's 69 degrees today which it's honestly really really hot i'm wearing this blazer i thought i was gonna get a nosebleed while driving because i just i cannot take hot weather very well we are in the driver's seat and right here there's only one armrest only the driver gets an armrest so if you're a passenger then that's just too bad right over here is this small compartment i kind of like this that i could just do it in and out and this is where i keep my small dash cam and charger this just fits two regular sized water bottles and here's the emergency brake which i'm still getting used to my other car does not have this and now we reach the prindle which actually looking at it there's no l in prindle i have no idea what m means what does m mean you guys is this something that started after 2017 because my car does not have this and this right here is where you could put the aux cord and some chargers I got my backpack right there and this is the glove compartment where I keep the insurance and whatnot. I found a scrunchie in my backpack, is that nice enough for everyone? And here's my favorite part so far, which is the skyline. My other car doesn't have one, I think it's pretty cool, especially at night, but <sighs> look, all the stars. And we got the back seat, nothing much here. Uh, I guess it fits three people, cup holder thing right there. So I'm gonna start the engine. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake first, press the button, and these car mirrors will automatically move once you press reverse. So yeah, because you're reversing, it wants you to get that wheel action and this also has a backup camera which obviously every car has one nowadays and i'm gonna go in park and the mirror just goes right back up again and that's basically it for this 2019 buick encore i'm returning this baby tomorrow to the car rental shop and i get my own hyundai tucson back i'm so excited for that i never thought i'd be that excited to get my own car back but after experiencing this it's just uh i want my car back so badly well, this morning I got a call from the auto repair shop saying that I could go pick up my car when I'm done with work. But then a few hours later, they texted me saying it's actually going to take them until Monday to finish up the repairs. So I'm stuck with this car for a few more days. But I guess that's it for my car vlog. So exciting, I know. But anyway, thanks for watching.